Uh, the lovely bags are here, and I bet you're so tired of hearing that. Uh, you know, the bag ladies, the bag this, the grocery bag, the whatever. Christina Matissic, Anna Walner. Um, are you? Nah. No. Nah. We're Never. growing into the role. I'm sure you are. Yeah. And well, it's, it's a very smart thing because I understand you own the show, sell the show. Is this all true? It's all true, yes. Very we smart. We have our own production company. We produce this show. We are looking, uh, we have different projects in development. We're producing other shows that we are not in. I mean, um, we have an amazing team of people. Who yes, we work with. of it's course. It's not like yeah. we get up and roll camera. No. <laughs> well, we all know on camera that they can make you look fabulous yes. or ridiculous. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. they can. Yes, it takes a team to make good television, <laughs> yes. no question it about does. that. It really does. Uh, so let's go to the show, a recent uh, show. I don't know what the show was called. Is it always just called? The Name of the Cookbook. The Name of the Cookbook? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the Specialité de la Maison. Correct, yes. This is a unique book, that's for sure. Okay. It is a collection of recipes from various celebrities and socialites from the 40s um, in the U.S. And they put a cookbook together to raise money for the war effort then. And it's really? been reissued now. Um, so we want to see whether this book had legs How great. so many it's years later. It's quite a throwback. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it is, beyond the joy of cooking. And maybe yes. Liberace yeah. or uh, <laughs> yeah. Liz Taylor's in there. Who knows? <laughs> Let's take a look didn't give any direction as to how long the Neptune nonsense would take to set. Here we go. I don't think it's coming out. The center is one. Careful. Oh, oh. I didn't do anything. Why don't we try to loosen it from its... Oh. <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> don't eat it. Don't eat it. You might... Yeah. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Oh, God. Don't eat it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything we can do about this. There we go. Oh, no. no. I don't think this was ever going to work. I don't want to look at it, and I don't want to eat it. <laughs> well. It was not good. No. <laughs> and who can you blame for that? Salvador Dali. Oh, really? Oh, he's mm -hmm. gone. Yes. And he's surreal. Yes. And I don't think that he knows how to write recipes. Apparently With not. With all due respect. Yes. But maybe one of you didn't do it right. How do you figure that out? Do you see what I mean? Like well, the our guest chefs have always okay. read the book and are familiar with the recipes, so they know if we've screwed something up or if perhaps it's the recipe. I see. What was that supposed to be? <laughs> that was supposed to be an old-fashioned mold. It you know, like a, a gelatin a mold. A gelatin mold. Right. But taste is taste. Even though, okay, yeah. even though the mold didn't sure. come out, it tasted wrong. <laughs> Wrong. It was not good. <laughs> good word. Yes. Wrong. Wrong. It tasted wrong. Well, we've all made a flat pavlova. You know, yes. the pancake, the pavlova mm -hmm. pancake or something like mm -hmm. that, but it still tastes okay. Right. Just this, not exactly. quite as airy. Nobody but this wanted just, to eat this. The Neptune it was nonsense. <laughs> da artist Dali's Neptune nonsense. Who mm -hmm. else was in the cookbook? Do you remember? Catherine Hepburn. Really? Helen Keller. Helen Keller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, fabulous. Mm -hmm. Wow. A lot of big names. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you picked Dolly, did you? Well, we wanted to see what he could come up with. Mm -hmm. Such mm -hmm. a creative guy. Exactly. <laughs> <Yes>. Well, <laughs> and it's one up from uh, Yellow Jello. Yes. yes. You know, something <laughs> yeah. like that. Now, uh, Oprah, mm -hmm. own her own, it's mm -hmm. called own, mm -hmm. but That's it's right. her own network. How did uh, you get picked up by Oprah? Or did you call her? Did she call you? How did that work? Um, it was a relationship that we have had for um, several years, and it all just came together in in them purchasing the grocery bag library. Which so. means what? 65 episodes. So our three seasons, everything that we produced for grocery bag, they bought and are running in the U.S., and now mm. it runs here as well. Uh, did they worry about a Canadian-U.S.? conflict of any sort, that this is how Canadians talk, you know, if you, right. if you audition for a movie in America, no, they I mean, want you to be able to talk like an American. Right. There are lots of Canadian shows that sure. are running in the U.S., so that wasn't really a concern. No. And certainly we always produce our shows with an eye to the international market. The show now runs in over 40 countries around the world. So Really? Mm -hmm. So the distribution is big. What nerve do you think it hits? 
I think, as Christina said earlier, people can really relate to it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're being honest about testing recipes, and I think the things that go wrong in our kitchen often go wrong in Mm -hmm. Perhaps yours. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. I have had some disaster, Kel yeah. disaster, but then again, uh, uh, put the lumpy gravy in the blender right. and you give it a whiz. You can fix it when nobody's watching. You can yes. fix it. That well, and, and who can't relate to the a crazy idea of trying something new when you're have, having somebody right. important over for mm -hmm. dinner? I mean, we've heard a million times, don't ever do that, but we all do it. Right. Of course we do, and pray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, also, you don't want to do something too complicated when you're having guests. Exactly. You really don't. You because want to be then able you to spend be with your all guests. your yes. time in the kitchen, so you want yeah. to be able to do ahead. Mm -hmm. exactly. And no, I, I do old favorites. You just have to you because have to. You, everybody yes. can have a roast chicken of and delight. And they're really there to have a good time mm -hmm. and to socialize. You have to remember that as well. Of course. Now, because you do this, do you cook more, either of you? Yes. Uh, have you been turned on to? I definitely have because I went in uh, as someone who had to be dragged into the kitchen. So, But now I'm enjoying it a lot more, I think, because I don't fear it as much. Mm. And what's the worst that can happen, right? Sure. So mm -hmm. it ends up in the garbage and we order pizza. That's mm -hmm. okay. Now, uh, uh, tell me the guests you've had on the show with you. Some. Hmm. A Batali or um, Balud. Balud was on. Balud. Um, Daniel Balud. Vikram Vidj and his lovely wife. Excellent. Alain Ray. Alain Ray from La Regalade. Mm -hmm. That's right. Alain and uh, Pino, of course, the gang, Umberto. Brigitte. Um, who have we had internet? We have had a lot of people who were on Top Chef come on the show. Okay. No Gordon Ramsay yet. Not yet. No. I had him on radio. He's a character. I'll bet. A little I out of the pen. Frightened. Yes, yes, but you know, they brought Gordon Ramsay here to cook with Rob Feeney. Mm -hmm. At Lumiere, when Lumiere was rocking Rob and Feeney's rolling, been on. Yep. Mm -hmm. has he? Mm -hmm. Wonderful chef. Mm -hmm. And can you imagine Rob Feeney and Gordon Ramsay in the kitchen together? I care not. That wouldn't be that. good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gabriel Hamilton, who runs Prune in New York, has a new memoir out: mm -hmm. uh, Bread, Bones, and Butter. Is mm -hmm. that it? Mm -hmm. Bread. Yes, I've Bread, seen butter, that. bones. Something Bread, like that. something mm -hmm. like that. She was here. Prune, yeah, great memoir about hmm. kitchen mm -hmm. uh, stuff, but about her life. And Bourdain, Anthony Bourdain, is one of her best friends mm. in the East Village. And mm. he said, it's the best memoir ever, ever written about cooking. Wow. Mm. I'll have to pick so it up. Mm -hmm. maybe. Would you do something like that? Get somebody like Bourdain, uh, Kitchen Confidential. Who's, For sure. Because he used to run uh, Les mm -hmm. and And he's come out with the Les Al cookbook. The, Right. So, so it has to be a cookbook, which we've not tested. necessarily a memoir, even though it has some recipes. There have to be recipes to test, yes. Okay. And we've tested that book, Les Al. Right. And um, we'll have to tune in to see if we recommend Well, of course it or not. I will. Because <laughs> that's, in the end, that's what it's about. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because you really are now kind of consumer advocates. Mm -hmm. When you buy something, the two of you, mm -hmm. whether you go to Canadian Tire or to Barbara Joe's or mm -hmm. to the Gourmet Warehouse, mm -hmm. and now you're looking at a product, have you got a new way of looking at things, a test you put, even if you buy a beautiful shirt, mm -hmm. and you, do you examine the seams? <laughs> Definitely. Are you that fussy? I mean, we've tested so many things in the kitchen that it's making uh, shopping a lot easier. Mm -hmm. uh, but especially in the grocery store, um, the way I look at food, where it comes from, reading the label more carefully, it has made a big difference to the way we shop. Oh, I'm sure it has, mm -hmm. because you, you know, it used to just be shopping, yeah. mm -hmm. fun, but now that you've done all this product testing, Mm -hmm. It must change how you, you know, you just don't grab something off the rack, love it madly, put it in the bag, sign the visa. Yeah, well, I mean, I certainly feel like I know uh, how to zero in on mm -hmm. the right thing faster. Okay. Is there a new plan afoot after the grocery bag? Many new plans afoot. <laughs> I'm sure, and you're not telling me, are you? No. <laughs> because somebody could steal that plan. No, we're working on a book um, related to the, the mm. cooking show, relating to grocery bag, and a couple of um, online enterprises oh. that we're looking into. Sure, mm -hmm. because the social media thing, like with Oprah, is Oprah up and running now yes. here? Mm -hmm. We can get it. Yes, mm -hmm. it started in Canada in March. Okay, so mm -hmm. you're there. Uh, do you, did you get to go to Oprah's house or anything? No. <laughs> she hasn't had us over for dinner yet. <laughs> Ringing well, the doorbell, but no. <laughs> exactly. Call Stedman. Yeah. Were you actually on Oprah's show? No. Never? No. no. Well, but so how know. did she find you? I, well, I guess her people she did. She also has a team. Yes. You know, I've heard. And as long as they pay their bills, 
I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> sure. And Stedman was here, so maybe he. You didn't. You never know. Right. Right. He comes through town occasionally. Maybe he saw the show. Maybe, maybe he we did. have Stedman to thank. <laughs> maybe you do. Thanks, Stedman. <laughs> okay. So when are you running? Tell me when this airs. W Network, Wednesdays yes. at eight thirty. Eight thirty. Yes. Well, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Do you miss news? Mm, no, not very much. Ever go back? I love to read it and take it in. Okay. Because, as you know, Katie Couric is uh, vacating. She is? Her spot. Yes, she's going back. She's, <laughs> yes, not Diane Sawyer, but Katie's wow. leaving. Yes, huh. uh, the anchor hmm. position and going back to have her own show. Right. Maybe she'll be on Oprah. Maybe. Who can knows? she cook? Maybe she can come on Maybe yeah. she could come on your show if she writes a cookbook. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Anna Walner and Christina Matissic. Anna and Christina's grocery bag airing on the W Network.